in this video we will discuss the operator which we use in the electromagnetism so here i will discuss here the operator which is we will call it del del or we can write del this is the del operator and we can represent this del operator with this symbol inverted triangle okay and mathematically we can write the expression for this del operator is x these are x y z these are the unit vector and curly by curly x curly by curly uh, y curly by curly z so these are the partial derivative so mathematically we can write the expression for the del operator is in this and del is not a vector in the usual sense indeed it it is without specific meaning until we provide it with a function to act upon you know that in the similar fashion for example you have the derivative term like this ddx so this is also operator it has only give the has significance when you operate with this any function for example f of x is x square then ddx x square you know that the value of 2x so if i write simply ddx it has no specific meaning but when we operate with any function so similarly this del operator is also behave like this this is the same rule that this has no specific meaning until any function you can operate with any function so for example if i write the t is a for example a function say it is function and i uh, write this gradient this or i am writing this del into t so in this case here it does not mean that we are multi it. so you can say it does not multiply multiply that means it does not multiply t by writing in this way it does not mean that you are multiplying it with t so what does it mean that is it is an instruction it is an instruction to differentiate so what does it not does not uh, multiply but rather it is an instruction to differentiate so this is the when we operate with this function t this means so now here you can precisely we can say that this gradient or this del is operator that acts on the t and not a vector this is not a vector that you are multiplying with the t so for example now if we take the case of ordinary vector for example you have ordinary vector a and how if we multiply we can multiply the vector in basically in the there are three ways first the multiply multiply is scalar you can multiply for example a is a scalar here you can write it like this a scalar into a vector so this is the multiplication way of writing the multiplying the ordinary vector with a scalar and similarly for example if you are multiplying with a uh, another vector a this vector i can write this e dot v and we will call it dot product also and similarly we uh, multiplying with the another vector there is another way you can write in similar fashion a cross b this we will call mathematically curl of a v or cross product of the a and b this is the way of multiplying and these if we have the ordinary vector the way so what what here we are now the operator we will discuss the operator so in case of operator there in this operator there are again we have three ways with this operator del 
for example now if the function is scalar then or if function is vector then how we can write we can write this del into t and we will call this term now it is gradient gradient of t <coughs> this t is a scalar quantity so here there are three way <coughs> again the three way with this operator a this t is we can write this is gradient of t similarly if uh, v is a vector quantity here if function is vector then i can write this gradient not del dot v vector and we will call this operation is divergence of v vector and again if you have uh, another uh, v vector we can also write like this this is we will call it curl v or here this is dot product and this is representing the <coughs> cross product okay so this is the three way in which we can uh, if we multiply this uh, del operator now what is the geometrical interpretation of these three operations that gradient of temperature divergence of v curl of v so in order to know about the geometrical interpretation first one must we have the idea about the derivative term suppose we have function f of x that f is function of x so what does the derivative do for us so what do we mean by the derivative so it represent how the answer is it represent how the rapidly function varies when we change the argument x by a small amount or you can say that this change this function df is directly proportional to this dx term and by replacing this constant proportionality we replace constant of proportionality with this term df by dx and df is directly proportional to this constant of proportionality term into dx and this term we will call it derivative and for example if i plot of this uh, function with x and if our plot is, is look like this then what do we what is the meaning of here that what is the value for this derivative so in this case the derivative is d or f of dx is large in this case and for example we have the function like this here is again we are plotting the function f of f with function of x and here this is representing slowly varying function so function is varying slowly here so in this case the value of this d of f dx is small in this case so this is the derivative we can uh, physically we can understand in this manner so our objective is to get the geometrical interpretation of this gradient of t divergence of v and curl of v operation <coughs> so for example if i am considering here this uh, gradient what is the gradient uh, physical interpretation of gradient so let us i will consider t is because in the case i have we know that gradient is comes into picture when we have physical quantity is the scalar quantity so here i am considering this for example temperature this is representing temperature and it is a scalar quantity and we are considering here that it is a function of x y z so according to the partial uh, theorem on the partial derivative we can write this d t is equal to we can expand it in the same manner that curly t y curly x t x into curly t y curly y d y plus curly t y curly z into d z basically 
this equation tells us as how t changes uh, when uh, we alter all three variables here three variables are x y z uh, by uh, the infinitesimal uh, amount that is dx dy dz so this is representing that how t is changing when we alter alter all three variables by is small amount dx dy dz and this equation I can also rewrite in term of dot product of this dt and this term is basically representing you know that dr vector and this term is representing the gradient of t and gradient of t you know that del is we can write this del t and del t curly by curly x curly by curly y uh, y cap curly by curly z z cap into t so this is term i can write here and this both term they are equivalent so i can write this is gradient of t here i will call gradient of t and i will not put any dot or cross here in between these because it is a scalar quantity so this term they are equivalent <coughs> and you know that uh, uh, using vector calculus we can write this dt is equal to if i am considering that gradient of t into dr angle is between these two term is theta so dot product we can write this in term of cos theta so for example if i fix this dr and search the around and i search around the various directions so the maximum value you know that from this expression the maximum value of dt comes out to be when your angle is comes out to be zero when theta cos zero angle angle is zero so cos theta comes out to unity and value of dt is maximum so it means that the maximum change in t when theta is zero and uh, you can say that this dt is maximum or greatest when r this moves in the same direction as uh, gradient t here is not any we can't put here any dot between any mark between this and this so this is uh, as delta t this is gradient of temperature and this gradient of t uh, or we can say that this gradient of t uh, is uh, representing the slope or we can say that this in the gradient uh, of t the gradient of t here I will put here this is gradient of t gradient of t you can you can also write this gradient t in this manner of points uh, in the direction of of maximum maximum uh, increase of the of the function t basically this gradient of t is a vector quantity and this 
leading of t it is a vector quantity it is a vector quantity how to say it is a scalar t is a scalar quantity what this is a vector quantity so this is the geometrical meaning that geometrical interpretation that this the what is the direction of this gradient of temperature the direction of gradient t is points in the direction of maximum increase of the function t in which your function is increasing rapidly for example you have the rod this rod if you are hitting it from this point and you know that temperature will be change in direction uh, here is maximum and in this direction you will get the maximum to the, the direction of the gradient of temperature is along the direction of pen if you are you if you are considering it a rod okay so this is the geometrical interpretation of gradient of the uh, gradient operation tail operation and another is the divergence so divergence is another operation so if we write this del dot v here we put the dot so this is divergence of v we can call it divergence we we can write it like this divergence v or we can write divergence v this is the way of writing and this quantity is scalar here the scalar quantity here v is we are <coughs> operating this del is act on the vector quantity what the net result is a scalar quantity which has only magnitude not direction and this is what do you mean by the divergence divergence is measure of how much vector v spread out from the point that what is happening to your for example if i am considering here the case hmm, point this and i denote symbol like this by increasing arrows so what is happening here in a similar fashion it is expanding it is spreading out from this point it means that divergence of v in this case comes out to be positive and large <coughs> large positive and for example you have the another example for example here i will writing drawing the arrows we have to take care that the magnitude of these vector is here i am considering the same magnitude all vectors they have same magnitude so in this case what is happening that what will be the value of the divergence so in this case divergence of is zero it is not changing so <coughs> this is you can say geometrical percent another example is for example water is flowing through your this is the uh, tube uh, and if it is uh, brand new water is entering from here and it leaving here and if there is no leakage in this so the value of divergence comes out to be zero same amount water will enter here same will leave here for example here you have the hole so water is leaking from here so it means that quantity is here water is amount is leaving is smaller so here your delta divergence is not zero in this case and if you are for example water is adding from here in that situation is again your divergence is non zero not equal to zero now there is another operation is the curl curl operation is we can denote it like this curl into we this is a measure of how much the vector we curl around the point 
For example, here if I am considering my three axes here the z axis and here around x axis and the y axis. And if I draw it like this. Uh, the vectors around this around this along z axis mm. in this fashion I will be drawing Here I will draw a vector So if we see that here around the z axis what is happening there is rotational this is it is a curl around the, along the z axis so in this case curl of v is non zero <coughs> and another case you can if you draw it like this is like this along the x axis here i am drawing it in this fashion these three vectors like this and along and here and if I am drawing it like this so this is an axis this is say x this is y so here in this case in both cases our curve is known zero <coughs> and you know that in in the uh, real life example you can have the bulb pool in the water there is water is circulating around the, the water is flowing and uh, some point you know that water is floating here if something is comes near to this it will be suck around this for example if we are uh, tightening anything so what is happening here if i'm rotating it like this it will move in this forward direction so like this and this quantity is also a vector quantity this curl is also a vector quantity and here this operation we operate operation is of that is with the vector quantity this is a regarding the various operations of tell and their uh, geometrical interpretation